from one love. My name is Tavas, and uh, well, we are painting another mech. This time of the Goliath Scorpions Beta Galaxy. And and I think we have solved the camera issues. You will be the judge, but I feel that this image quality of today is a lot better than it used to be, especially compared to the last video. Or the th other three ones that you did not see because they were completely broken. Anyway, the beta galaxy of the Goliath Scorpions are a, have a livery of sand and black, grayish or gold. So we're starting off with the sand color. This is, I think, cobalt skin actually, which is a bit too reddish for what we're going for, but it's a nice base. So we're slapping it on. You can use any pale peach color for this. Doesn't really matter, as usual. But I'm using cobalt skin. And um, just try to get a smooth coverage here. Wet the paint down a bit, thin it down, get a nice coverage. Don't worry too much about the ins and outs. Get the mech covered. Get a smooth one. You might have to take two coats to get a nice smooth finish. After that, I think we are on to Banshee Brown, I think actually. Mix Banshee Brown with Cobalt Skin, but again, any pale bony... Actually, this might be Skeleton Horde, actually, I think it's called. Anyway, uh, any pale bony color would do here, because what we want to do is bring the lightness up of the initial color. We don't want to do a full new color, but we want a lighter transition. So you mix them, yeah, but roughly a 50-50 mix should do the trick. But again, you feel f get a feel for your paints. And um, again, wet it down a bit, get it fairly runny, and do two or three coats to get a nice finish. You can also take just one coat if you want just to quickly, if you're like out of time or on a crunch, you can do one coat but then you water the paint down a bit less the more water the more coats until you get too far and get to a glaze and at that point you're gonna have to do a lot and I mean that has a lot of layers but yeah. again we just go over the panels and uh, this is where we start to apply a bit of finesse we try to avoid hitting the recessed areas and we I try to not paint all the way up to the edge of uh, protruding plates. And this is to create a bit of shadow, a bit of depth, because we are not going to wash this model. And instead we're going to rely on the panel lines themselves to create enough shadow. This can be tricky, especially if you have models already flat. It's not the method I would suggest. But with this model it works, you have very distinct panels. A lot of the mechs do have very distinct panels. So just take it slow. Be careful. Smooth, steady hand. And uh, paint handles help here, but you don't need them technically. You can just hold the model in your hand. It's plastic models, they're very forgiving. And uh, yeah, now for the third layer, technically not the third layer, but third paint, we use a mix of I think Skeleton Bone, Skeleton Horde, and Banshee Brown. Either way. We're going with a... Can we Mummy Robes too, also? I don't know. I see, I should have saved the paint star, but basically, it doesn't really matter what paint you use. We're now using a creamy white, eggshell white, mixed into the mid-tone brown to get a even paler layer. And this is our top layer. This is where... We we try to emulate light. So hit the upper areas a lot more than the lower areas. Hit edges. Get those areas that catch as light naturally. And uh, again, be fairly careful. Use fairly well weathered paint. I would even say you should use. It could always be actually be a bit runny here, to be honest. Yeah, also try to be nice to brushes. That brush is split and it's dead and it's gonna have to be replaced. So you can see here, going carefully around, trying to not paint over any of the uh, recessed areas. 
and um, once you're down to a bit dry paint you start doing a almost a light dry brush almost if you have enough paint in your brush but yeah try to have the paint agreeing with you now these top areas here are very flat so here we go very carefully and now here's an example of trying to stay outside of the line so to say big making sure that the top uh, plate has a bit of shadow to it otherwise we just disappear into the other layer and don't want, don't want that so yeah carefully going over it making sure you have everything where it's supposed to be hopefully um you end up at this point have a nice base because now we're going to details and details in this case start with painting the cockpit window because we need that white white because we're going to do something we're going to we're not going to gem it but we're going to make a gradient on it so we need it white because the off-white i'm using as a base color color is not conductive to that it also has some with the greeblies on the front that i painted white because uh, that's needed then it's just weapons a nice well blended metal you could also if you want to do non-metal metals or paints or yeah, any any way works you do you i like to make my weapons metallic because it helps me keep a track of what's actually a weapon and um yeah some makes it can be really hard to find what is actually a weapon and what is not a weapon this for example have a little shin greebly that i think is a flamer I'm not entirely sure. Could also be a laser, but it has a shin greebly. A bit of a one side goatee, if you like. So, yeah, that is what it is. But paint weapons, and uh, ta da! Weapons are painted. Make it's not looking good. <laughs> um, moving on to details, as I said. And um, now, it doesn't say anywhere that the Beta Galaxy has gold as a accent color. They say they're either gold or sand colored. But me, personally, use a straight up sand, kind of boring. So, introducing a bit of gold to it, making sure that it looks nice. And a nice it looks, I think. Because uh, it doesn't say anywhere they don't have gold either. So. Just applying a bit of gold for a bit of flair, making it stand out a bit, giving it a bit of a pop. So, we are now nearing the end game actually. It does have black though as an accent color, so we you get to pick out a few places you think it would look nice. Now, one good thing with this base coat we have is that it is such a strong color that it's okay if you miss a little bit in some I bit my tongue it was really unpleasant in some cases you absolutely can um, paint over your base coat with uh, paint on mistakes to base coat some you can't some you can't if you do a gradient for example it's really difficult to reapply a good base in this case, flat colors. If you make a mistake, you just paint it over. Vet palettes come to very handy here because you can keep the base of the color that you had before at hand. Pinstriping, a skill you should, uh, should practice. I'm not particularly good at it. But it is a fun skill nonetheless. You basically apply the brush and then move your elbow, keeping your wrist still still and steady. People who are good at this can do this along the side of an entire car. I barely can do it across the leg, but it is still a nice skill to have. Yeah, it's not fairly nice. Fairly even. So yeah, with all the stripes applied, everything put in place, it's time to put in the cockpit window. And then it's the finishing touches, and then we're gonna have the beauty shots, but you know, you know how this works. Basically, gradient by applying a wet layer of a, in this case, a bright color, then applying the darkest color you want, 
at the bottom or the top, depending on where you want the gradient to go, and then you mix the two in between, creating a sort of fade between the two. Again, fairly tricky to begin, but practice it and it will become easier. And um, if you want to just practice, practice it, get some watercolors because they're great for practicing nice fades. If you can get it to look good on watercolors, you can get it looking good on anything. But yeah, that's a cockpit window. I used to make my gold, but people complained. I don't know why, but some people complained a lot when I painted gold cockpit windows. So I, I'm trying a few different things. Now we wrap this up with the usual quick wash of null oil, and my null oil is running out. So I have to pick up the new null oil, the new null oil, which is a shade, but it's not really a shade because it is like a very thin speed paint instead. I don't know. You'll see. It's very weird. But yeah, congratulations to me. I think we solved the camera issues. Tell me if you think this looks better, worse, I don't know. There will be a rapid fire painting mix now because I have a pile of them to paint. And uh, you know, we have to do that. So, beauty shots are coming up. Until next time, stay safe, be kind, and do, do play fair. Bye!